warm from the elements. So we are a collection of people who are here to overcome these issues. Now, if you start, if you try to go into the issues to fix them, you'll be forever doing nothing. But if you recognize the issues of the collective pattern, and you go within yourself to fix them, you could become a powerhouse on this planet. You could become a massive force for change on this planet. And things will happen and gather around you. But as long as you're tending to the mirror, you're worthless. But as long as you sit before the mirror and tend to the greater, deeper self, the entire mirror will ultimately start to change. And this is the other half of the universe called logic. Part half of the universe is yang logic. And around logic is where all laws are formed. That's where the word comes from. Another word of logic is rules and all of those things, right? They're predictable. They're describable. Logic is not predictable nor describable. But you lock yourself into your deepest center point even though chaos is happening. Watch the 10, five to 10 minutes of what is the golden Buddha, the young Buddha, the Buddha, what is that thing that Keanu Reeves was in in the mid 90s? Terrible movie. <laughs> but it has, it has a five to 10 minute slot in it where he's sitting at the Bodhi tree, refusing to be titillated by the goings on around him because he has come to the point where he's refusing to do anything more. I mean, if they gave reverse um, Academy Awards for like worst hair and worst makeup, <laughs> that would have been an all-time classic. <laughs> because you're sitting watching this movie going, whoa. Anyway, that be as it was. But the little Buddha? Okay. But there's this spot in it. And this is what happens to us. The moment we come to sit into ourself, the moment we decide that we are going to do it, that we're not going to chase it any longer, that we're going to be it, hell breaks loose. Most people spend an inordinate amount of time going, that's it, no it's not. That's it, no it's not. That's it, no, it's not. The Buddha in this particular scene went, that's it, and that was it. But most people go, that's it, and the shit starts happening, and they go, oh no, it's not, just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> because they can't take the load of incredible, because when you go, that's it, it's the most positive thing you could ever do in the world. For every action, there is a... Yeah. Equal reaction. So if you go, that's it. It's the most positive thing you could ever do in the world. What's going to happen? Balance. So you're just going to get struck. And then you're not just kidding, just kidding. Oh. And then it eases up. But what happens after that? Balance takes place if you make it through the gateway. And this is what all biblical, all what Quranic, all what Kabbalistic, all what Torah, whatever the scripture is, City Guru, whatever the scripture is, this is what it's talking about in symbology. It's talking about that. It's not meant to be interpreted literally is meant to be understood symbolically. 
And just understand that in most scriptures, a lot of a lot of stuff's been made up over the centuries, you know, just to suit whatever regime was in power at the time. And so, but that's part of who we are. That's part of the reflection. So the key is you come into this room, you're working on your flashlight, you're working on your battery, so that you can open up the mechanism and get more soul body to flow through it. The more soul body to flow through it, then you cast a brighter light, you cast a brighter light, see more stuff. You see more heaven and you see more hell. The brain is attuned to focusing on the hell to warn us of danger. It's the way we've survived. So just know that if you're sh shedding more light, you're seeing more hell, sit. Enjoy hell until heaven shows up, because it's there. Now then, what are you going to do? You, want, you have some ideals, you have some plans, you have some goals. Hold them in now, hold them in knowing. Patience is not waiting, patience is knowing. Set into your knowing, your dreams and ideals, and just sit with your knowing. Hmm. That's the mantra of knowing. Hmm. Shit happens. Hmm. <laughs> Something tries to seduce you. Hmm. Mm -hmm. hmm. And it balances out, and, and that's the whole seven minutes of the little Buddha. It's all this stuff, you know, beautiful things and ugly, I mean, like, torrentially ugly things and beautiful things. It's like that last scene of uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark. Remember when they opened up, they weren't supposed to open up the ark, they opened up the ark, it's so gorgeous and beautiful, and it's swirling and gorgeous and beautiful, and it's swirling, and suddenly it turns, like, devastatingly ugly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> wasn't supposed to open the eye. All symbology, all symbology talking about the same thing. For every action, there's an equal. So you just keep building your, your DNA, you keep building your conscious aware spirit, you keep shining your light more and more, you keep seeing the ugly, you keep seeing the glorious, you keep seeing the ugly, you keep seeing the glorious, and poof, you come through, you sit in that heart center, sensation, the experience of what is taking place. Because in every moment is the total glory. I'm starting to sound like a preacher now. <laughs> Shut me up. <laughs> but it is true. <laughs> and from the heart center you can experience the experience so that's good <clears throat>